Like many in India, Shubhdayal has relied on telegrams to share both good and bad news with her friends and family. See, the telegram person will come with his khaki uniform, with a tin, 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 tin sound, telegram, tar, telegram, tar, and one person will go and receive it, and until the person opens and, you know, tells us what the news is, everybody will be, you know, with a heavy heart or a thumping heart. I hope it's a good news. Today, she's sending a special final telegram to her granddaughter, to mark the end of an era. This and all the other telegraph offices across India are closing down. It's nearly 162 years since the first official telegraph line opened in India, a service for official use only. By 1855, it was open for the public and it revolutionized the way people communicated. Short messages were supposed to reach within 48 hours. It was never a cheap service. Even today, it costs much more than sending a text message from a mobile phone. Ek form de vijega telegram wala. Thank you. I'm sending my first ever and probably the last telegram from one of Delhi's oldest and biggest telegraph offices, which used to send hundreds of telegrams every day. Now it has come down to few hundreds in a month. This place must have been full of people tapping the dots and the dashes of Morse code on telegraphic machines that has been replaced by computers now. In fact, till 1980s, telegrams used to be the mainstay of fast communications in the country. But with the technology becoming digital, now people don't have to wait for days to receive important messages sent across the vast length and breadth of the country. I usually use internet, I use text messages, I make calls to people when I you know, try to connect to them. And yeah, that's it. If I, if I want to know about Telegram, I'll Google it. India's Telegraph service has for years depended on its messengers like Rohtash Singh. In the job for more than three decades, today he's going to deliver Shubhdayal's last telegram to her granddaughter. Sri Anya. As the internet and mobile phone network is spreading out to even the remotest parts of India, the era of the telegram is finally over. No other child is ever going to receive these papers. Rupa Jha, BBC News, Delhi.